Alright, okay. Don't panic, don't panic. It's our first down, it's only round 11, so then it's not going to be too difficult. Grab that for insurance again. Run to Juggernaut. Run to Juggernaut, where is it? Where is it? Where are you, Juggernaut? I'm panicking. Juggernaut, Juggernaut, come on, Juggernaut, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Alright, calm down, calm down, calm down. It is not the end of the world. Relax, 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 relax. Now there's only one left. It's up these stairs. Yep, yeah, yeah, to the left. Yep, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Grab that. Oh, God. That's a really bad place to put a perk. Especially Juggernaut. Right, now we can finally link this teleport to the mainframe and open the pack a punch for when we need it. Just hop in here. It's not through here, it's the other way. I'm an idiot. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Here we go. Pack a punch is opened. Wait for my drop. Seven will be blood. I'm sorry. Right, what is it? It's a max ammo. That is a needed drop as such. Right, round 12. Powering through these rounds. I'm not sure whether to grab another gobble gum yet. Righty ho. Zombies will start, yeah, here we go, the zombies will start coming in. I'll just keep running around for a bit to keep them at bay. Which seems like a good plan at the moment. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. So yeah, actually, um, I've almost got 150 subscribers as of this video. And that is insane, because it was about a month ago when I got to 100, and I've got 50 in just one month. So I've got about half the amount I got throughout the whole year in one month, which is it's crazy to me. And that Pokemon Go video is um, it's done insane. It's got 21,000 views. To be honest, I just did it to help people, because I found a way of recording Pokemon Go videos and playing Pokemon Go on my phone. I mean, on, on my iPad, not on my phone. So yeah, I just thought I'd help some people out, and it did really well. So, yeah, pretty good. Hopefully my COD videos can do as well at some point in the future. Death Machine. Grab this Death Machine and start shredding these guys up. Beautiful. I'll grab that max ammo in a minute. When I've used as much of this as I possibly can. Come to me, children. Come to me. Very well. Right. I'm thinking, oh my god, oh god. I think my sprint button's broken. I'm not going to lie, actually. I think my sprint button might be a little bit broken. So, I think... I might pack a punch soon, actually. I might as well do it. Because this pistol's again quite ineffective. Yeah, let's... So, we're going to get the the Mustang and Sally. I mean, Death and Taxes, not Mustang and Sally. That's from the, that's from the M1911, M from the classics. But they're essentially the same sort of weapon. They shoot grenades, so it's pretty, pretty lit. Look at that, beautiful. So now we've got our main weapon, and we're still only using a pistol and knife, so that's pretty good. I mean, the, the main thing that you do when doing pistol knife only is you want to conserve ammo at the start because later on you're gonna need you're gonna need to have a lot of ammo saved up to combat the early rounds. The early rounds are like the hardest rounds, like rounds what four to 
11, I think, are the ones where you need to concentrate to get yourself set up and get the amount of points you need to pack a punch. But it's pretty good. We're doing well so far. There's a lot of zombies. Just slide through the middle of them there. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. Oh, God. There's a lot of them coming onto the map right now. Ooh, keep running in a circle. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, pistol knife only. I was thinking about doing some more pistol knife only on maps like Kino de Toten from Black Ops 1 when I finished this one. Because I got Black Ops 1 when I got Black Ops 3, and before that I hadn't played it much. So I could do some multiplayer videos on Black Ops 1. Also, it got um, it got backwards compatibility added to it, so you could play it on Xbox Ones, which is pretty good. It, oh no! Oh no! 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 This is not good. It's all right. It's all right. We survived. So yeah, Black Ops 1. I could do Kino de Toten on pistol knife only. That would be a bit of a challenge. Possibly. Depending on how well I do in this game. Just keep running around. Keep them coming. I want to stay away from them. Stay away from them as well. Because they hit super fast. And if you get caught in a group. Then you're pretty much. That's a lot of drops isn't it. Christ. Just try and wait them out. Oh my headphones are hurting my head. Come on, zombies. Oh, it's a hellhound's run anyway, so. Oof. I don't know why I'm panicking that much, because I've got Juggernaut, so I don't really need to panic. Yo, I'm such an idiot. Oh, Christ. Why did I do that? That's stupid. There's the max ammo. I should grab it and... Right, that's only two downs though. I think I've got one more revive left, maybe. I want to say one more revive left. And I'm panicking. I don't know where the perks have gone. Oh my god. Right. Right, 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 right. right. It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. I might just have to play through this round round without jug and get it at the end. So no pressure guys, no pressure, but we've got to stay alive and be very cautious. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies, that's a lot of zombies. Just spam the insta kill with this IK5. Oof, do, 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 do. Oh, this is this is hectic. This is hectic. Not gonna lie. The concentration level is high. Bear in mind, this is also my first time playing zombies in a good like month or so. So I'm doing pretty well considering. I do like doing pistol knife only though. It's a good challenge and it really like. It really... Oh god, I got stuck on them barrels. That's not good. That's not good. Them barrels are going to be the... That them, those barrels are going to be the death of me at some point. Right. It's the end of the round. I'm, I'm going to... Okay, think about it. It's this way, isn't it? It's in that little alcove on the right. I've also got an invisible gobble gum, but it distorts my vision and I don't really like it that much. Up the stairs to the... Yeah, okay, right. I'll pop, I'll pop the invisible thing. There we go. Alright, and relax. Whew. Relax. Okay. Oh, I wasted an insta kill gobble gum, didn't I? Of course I did. Oh, God, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot. <gasps> Oh, and a hellhound. Oh, God. Oh, God. I crouched. Right. right. 
Okay. That hellhound's getting annoying. Well said, Rigtofen. Back away. Alright, there we go. There we go. Just chill out for a bit. Here we go. Just kill them as they spawn in. Oh god, oh god, oh right, okay, okay, okay. I caught that circle short, I had to run around the back. I'm pretty nimble, I'm a pretty nimble guy around zombies, you know. I can avoid sticky situations. All that Black Ops 2 training has come in handy. I mean, training is in training zombies, not training on Black Ops 2, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Right, right. This, this, good. These, these weapons are really powerful. Not gonna lie. All right. Okay. Okay. The, okay. The knife is no longer a one to kill. That's kind of worrying. All right. Not to panic though. All right. Don't do that again. I got hit by rebound damage. That's what got me killed in the first place. All right. Okay. 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 That crawler's annoying. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna take him out at some point soon. Are these the only t three left? Right, I don't want to... Right, okay, yeah, I'm going to go and get another gobble gum just for the sake of safety and and pretty much because I like them a lot. Right. Aftertaste. That's going to come in handy. I think now, just for the sake of getting aftertaste, I'm going to go and get the rest of the three perks. Which are quick revive, double tap, and speed cola. Alright, excuse me, I had to look where the perks actually were because I don't actually know where they are. <laughs> right, so I think double tap is somewhere in here, if I'm not very much mistaken. It said near the teleporter. Is it down here? Um, where about? Is it in. Oh, there it, I can see it. There it is. There it is. It's in there. Good, good. Right, and now just to get speed cola, and then we've got our collection of perks. GG. So now we're pretty much set up for later rounds. I'm just gonna pack up. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna pack a punch my pistol. Purely because I also need a pack a punch pistol. There isn't this weapon for the Easter egg. So I'll make this guy run out. You know what? I'll save it. I'll save it for later. I'll save it for later. I'm not going to need it yet. It'll be good on Hellhounds rounds, I suppose. A pack a punch IK5. But I don't particularly need it at the moment. So I will save it. You're not getting in, bro. You're not getting in. You're staying. Oh, God. All right. Never mind. Never mind. I retract my previous statement. I play games no more. Run around. Ring a ring in the ring a ring around the roses. Oh, God. Oh, God. Those barrels, man. Those barrels are going to be that. Those barrels are going to be the death of me eventually. I know it. It's going to be like round 30. I'm going to be stuck there. And then it's going to end horribly. Alright, so I think so far I've only got. I think I've got one more revive left. And this is the last one. And I got a death machine, so that's pretty lit at the moment. Right, they're going to start running in pretty quickly soon. So I just need to stay calm and shred them up with this minigun. I really wish they had kept this minigun death machine drop for for Black Ops 2. Cuz it was a pretty good pretty good drop. Oh god. 
Just keep running around. Drag them into the circle. I, th I mean, yeah, we're doing pretty well at the moment. We've got 9,000 points, around 17 and all four perks with a pack-a-punch weapon. And enough points to get another one. So I think we're doing pretty well at the moment. I know the easter egg involves involves teddy bears and finding them on the map but I'm not sure how to do it yet I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out okay this is the last this is the last one excuse me, I'm, I'm switching between screens, I'm looking on the internet how to do the easter egg as well because I've actually forgotten how to do it, oh there's another guy there as well I've forgotten how to do it so also, it's just hit me, like, the sheer lack of Zombies videos I've done over the past year or so. Like, the last Zombies gameplay I did was actually a Road to Black Ops 3 Zombies series on Mob of the Dead. And that was in preparation for Black Ops 3. So throughout this whole year, I've not done a single Black Ops 3 Zombies video. Which is kind of shocking, to be honest, because it's... Uh, I'm neglecting, I've been neglecting zombies a lot for the past year or so. You know, I really want to do a uh, Exo Zombies game. I'm not going to lie, I might live stream it or something, I'll put it up as a big video. <laughs> That'd be a pretty pretty cool video, I think. This Easter egg, there is something over there I need to shoot, just there. And there is a voice. And now I need to go and find something in a furnace. I think it's a monkey bomb. Mm. So it's actually in this room right here. I'm an idiot and I was getting mixed up with all the rooms. Here it is. There it is. The monkey bomb right there. You shoot that and then you have to find the next one. So, it turns out that the place where I was looking around last time was actually the location of the second one. Or the uh, the teddy bear or such. It's in one of these cauldrons. So you just pretty much run up to it and try and jump shoot the thing. Because it's in there somewhere. There it is. And there's one more, I think. I think there's one more. So it's actually on a balcony just up there, the topmost balcony in the corner. So there we go. So now we just run to a furnace. You just run to the furnace in this building here. And that's this one. There we go. We pick up the annihilator. There we go. So now we can use. So it doesn't, doesn't actually count as an extra weapon. It just counts as a, uh, a special weapon, so it's pretty much a specialist. So if you got Mule Kick as well, you could have up to four like weapons in one game, which is pretty cool. But because I've already got loads of guns, I ain't gonna get. Mule I mean, already loads of perks, I ain't gonna get Mule Kick. So now it's a Hellhounds round. I'll just use this RK5 to shred them up because. I pack a punched it, and it's a one burst gun now for Hellhounds, which is pretty lit. There we go, another one. Give me that max ammo at the end of the round. Just speed through this round. Easy round. Come on, one more. There we go. Nice and easy. Max ammo. Prepare for the next round. <sighs> Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.